As a continuation of the previous exercise, drawing a spatula in one point perspective, let's take this one step further and draw this one in one point perspective. And you see the main difference is this spatula has not a flat but a cylindrical handle. So before I go into sketching anything, I first will block out some proportions. This doesn't have to be very precise, can be very basic. So there we can see kind of like we have one third and here we have two thirds. And this one comes down kind of like at a one third of this cube. Okay, now I hold actually the spatula kind of horizontal so um, that makes it maybe a little bit easier to draw. So maybe let's do it actually this view first. So there. And if we take a look at the height for everything, you can even see here this is one half, this is one third, one third, one third, one third. And also here the spatula tip nearly goes. Um, yeah, one corner point to the other corner point. And the angle here, uh, not the angle, the handle actually starts at the bottom of this point and then ends at the midpoint. So this is actually a one quarter point because here we have two more. So having this figured out, let's try to draw this um, easily in the one point perspective. So let's go ahead and we plot down our basic line there. Uh, I would have to figure out roughly the, the midpoint. So I will actually in this case quickly plot down the square tool so I can see where the midpoint might be there and there. Okay, good. So midpoint roughly is there. Okay, then maybe let's pick this as the baseline there to the vanishing point and to the vanishing point. Oh, this line is terrible. Let's do this again there and there. Okay. So now we have to figure out again, maybe the appropriate depth. This is the step uh, which we should be able to guess. So maybe like this. Okay. So because we are in one point perspective, we have this distance and uh, it's in a horizontal line, which means we can actually measure it. So currently uh, I do a really crazy trick. If you can see that in the video, I just put down a ruler and measured the distances. So here's five and there's another five. So zero uh, here, let's go back there. Zero, five, 10, 15. You see this way I got actually my thirds. That's one of the advantage of the one point perspective. This edge actually, which is horizontal, will not foreshorten. So we can measure it a little bit. So one point is there. And the next one seems to be there. So there are my lines. Okay, perfect. If we pay close attention to the proportion, so this length to this length, uh, let's draw a line. So it feels like a little bit longer there. Okay, so maybe we have to, and this is maybe the line there. So maybe, maybe up like this. Okay. 
You saw I simply approximated the distances simply by drawing some lines. So I have a visual reference. And here, let's draw this one over. This one goes straight up. Okay, perfect. There's this one box. There's the next box. And from there to there, there's that other box. Good. Okay, let's do a quick mock up for the spatula. So the spatula would be roughly there. So you see, I use the same grid that I constructed as an overlay over the photo to put the lines down. Okay, let's go back. You see here the, the handle is one third of the first third and then fully occupying the rest of the third third <laughs> and is only half the height. Okay, so just some helpers there. So this line goes straight up. This line goes up and then here we can continue this there. Okay, so let's actually figure out where is the horizontal midpoint there. So here we see there is that line. Oh, it actually it overlaps with the back line. Okay. So that was good to have. And now we have to figure out the one third. So we have this distance. Let's do the same trick again with my ruler. Uh, I scale it so it is actually six centimeters. There is four and there is two. So there are my thirds. Uh, let's draw this line to there and there and there. And there, okay, so just to show this as an overlay, there you see that's kind of like seen from the front where the handle would be. But the handle is not as white, so I have to project the handle now to the inside a little bit. And as it seems, so my spatula is roughly six centimeters wide and the handle is plus minus a little bit less than uh, three centimeters. So it feels kind of like if we would take a look from the top, that's the spatula. So let's say uh, six centimeters. And then here, this has to be one third one third and one third. Okay, I will create a new layer so I can sketch in there a little bit without messing the stuff up. I have to first create my midlines. But hold on, let me change the color first. There, there, so there is my midline plus minus. And this went down a little bit too much, so probably more like this. Okay, good. Because now this is actually a foreshortened surface, we can't really so easily find one third, one third. We can easily find one half, one half. If we subdivide it more, we get one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. So I might have to guess here a little bit. So maybe from there to there. Now I could do actually a foreshortening trick, which is actually, I see there, you see it cuts actually that one diagonal. Yeah, this, this actually looks a little bit like one third, one third, one third. Each line gets a tick bigger. So why did I do this? So what was this actually useful for? So I can now have the ground view of my handle. And I for the moment draw this line in. 
have this really big rectangle here. So if I now take this line and project it up, you see that I can find exactly where my handle at the bottom would be. So let me do this a little bit more precise. So here, let's draw this a little bit straight up, straight up, okay. I also would like to have a line from the vanishing point to there because here is now the back box of my handle. I need to do the same for the front. So we set vanishing point to there. Okay, and then straight up and straight further up. Okay, and then a horizontal line over and a horizontal line over. Okay, and something is off here. Oh, this line gets really got a little bit shifted there. So this one face gets very t narrow. That makes sense because um, we're getting closer to the midline. And this angle actually is wrong. I think some of my lines here are a little bit crooked, so it should be probably be more like this. Yeah, this actually makes more sense. Okay, and again, whenever you do these drawings, don't be afraid to correct your lines. Draw really, really lightly. Okay, so if you compare this now to the spatular proportions, you see we got pretty close actually. So the let's take a look at the metal part. The metal part is at the center. So I have, let's say the center part is roughly here. Okay, so diagonals from the midpoint there. We also have here this midpoint. And now we actually have to judge our eye a little bit. So this is a nice flat arc. So let's try to draw a line there, and there, let's compare shoots out a little bit more. So horizontal and then go over. And there you see the viewpoint I selected is unfortunately not very good because here in this area, it gets, the, the lines are starting to overlap. However, for the rest, this seems to be pretty spot on proportion wise, so very close to it. Okay, so the missing steps now only to do would be to continue putting down your diagonals, putting down your um, verticals, your midline, and then actually we could start putting down the ellipse there. We would have an ellipse roughly there. This would be a little bit smaller and then we could start sketching in for example the handle somewhere here also would be a sphere so how would i do the sphere i would create myself a bigger line here this line then i would draft up and Here, for example, I, from the vanishing point going down and to the vanishing point, I could create a bigger line. And the main reason for that is if I continue these lines, you see I can bring over the proportion. So I get a bigger rectangle. A bigger rectangle means I can put in a bigger ellipse. And then I would have to bring in the, the horizontal plane so I can put in another ellipse and then there's my my circle so i skip a few steps because at this point you should be able to do that already on your own without me showing all the steps but yeah so 
there we are. One point perspective with a spatula where the handle is horizontally but rounded, not flat. And then we used a, a measurement trick along horizontal lines, the front line obviously, to establish some proportions so that then the sketch we will create will be close to the proportions of the product we envision.